Sometimes, some exactly. Sometimes you have to judge people by when you tell them no, how they react then. Destiny they they, all, of a, they all of a sudden forget all the things that you've done for them, Trust all of the me. advice that you've given them. All of the advice that you've given them, they forget about all of that. You've told them no one time and now they feel a strong way towards you. And it doesn't come out straight away. Sometimes it never comes out, but it's something that happens within here. It's Just, because of the conditioning. Beyonce's got a great song, Track 7, Dangerously Love Album. It's called Yes, written by Jay-Z. It explains this perfectly. And it's exactly what you said. People are conditioned a particular way when they're in certain situations. So if I'm around Billy all the time and Billy says, I could, every time I come to his house, he lets me go in the fridge. He's like, yeah, go in the fridge, go in the fridge, go in the fridge. One day he goes, no. I might say, why? I might say, why? That's because okay. of the conditioning. The, the, now, a more obviously severe situation is that what Pogba asked for money. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, course. Now Pogba's got a wife. Hmm. He's got children. He's made a move to Juventus. The circumstances of what I used to say yes all the time about it's completely changed. Mm-hmm. But guess what circumstances haven't changed? For the other person. You're still a bomb. So because the other person's circumstances haven't changed, that reliance on whatever mechanic it is still re- remains. Yeah. When things are in trouble, he goes there. Wait, I don't have that no more. But that's how my life has been patterned. That's the way my life is. Why should that go? That's it, man, then we're going to get him. Like That's how mm. crazy some people are. They condition their mindset yeah, to use people and to say, you're meant to provide a service for me Fact. as your friend. If you don't provide that service, I don't want you around. Yeah. Now, the person needs to understand that is the most, that's literally one of the most satanic mentalities to have in mm. life. To look at people and say, don't give me that service. Fuck you. You're a prick. Like, what the hell is going on? But do you know what it is as well, my brother? Sometimes it's not even about the circumstances that change in regards to you with the wife and the kids and whatever. Sometimes you have to take a step back and say, you know what? I'm not going to enable your laziness. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying this is the case with this, but I'm just saying this is a, this is a common situation. Okay, yeah, where it's right. like, you know what? Like, you've asked me. You said, oh, you know what? I want to set up blah, blah, blah. Cool, yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah, I need money for... Yeah, yeah, cool, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I got you for this. I got you for that. And then you turn around in a couple of years' time or years' time and you're like, but nothing's changed. No, nothing has changed. Everything that I've given you to start doing something with, you haven't done anything with really. Um, you're not doing anything. You're just, you just feel as though because I make money, because I've made it, that you can now do nothing. By me continuing to keep giving you money, I'm enabling your behaviour. I mean, they're going to be able to bear rappers, you know. hundred percent. Sometimes you've got to be able to stand up on your... Sometimes you have to be able to do that, regardless of how tough the situation is. Sometimes you have to be able to stand up on your own two feet. And sometimes, you know what? It's like, I get it. If you're working really hard on something here, if I see you working really hard on something, and it's for whatever reason, it's just not working out, I'm still giving you. Because you're, wor- you're trying. And one day... You know, you're gonna hit the tipping point and it's just gonna work out. It's about your intentions, isn't of it? Of course. But if you're if you have no if you are looking at the fact that you're just close to me and that I'm up, so by default, we're we're up. No, no, no. Hey, Shaq said it best. You know what Shaq said, right? To his kids. Shaq said, No, I'm rich. You're not rich. Mm. I'm rich. Mm. That's what he said to his kids. You gotta go and make something for yourself. Yeah, of course you got the, the the privilege. I was just saying, Poe, what um, Shaq said um, to his kids. Yeah. I'm rich. You're not rich. You're not rich. I'm rich. So you need to go and do find something that you want to do. You know what? Yes, the kids are lucky that they have a backbone where they can say, you know what, Dad, can I get an investment for whatever? That's a privilege there. But you're not going to get this just by doing nothing, just because your dad worked smart and hard and, you know, certain things aligned for him and now all of a sudden you think that you could just do nothing. So then, okay, cool. Now, one day I tell my youth, no, what are you going to do? Try and lick down my... You're going to lick down your dad. Mm. And people do that. You know what? My dad's mad up and I don't even have anything right now and this is my inheritance money. Let me go and lick down my dad. <laughs> do you know how crazy that is? Do you know is? How do you even feel like I'm mad? <laughs> it's crazy. Honestly, that's if you... Exactly I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm, honestly, honestly if you I'm are a like man that, and you're relying on another person to get money, you're not even using your own tools to get money, how are you even looking at your kids and telling them how that's, to that's get money? Honestly, make, so. a lot of guys, fam, you're bitches, fam. You don't even know it, bro. That's like, be a be man, it. bro. Go so and make your own like... fucking money, bro. Go and support. Furthermore, you shouldn't be fucking pressuring someone to give you money. You should be trying to help other people get opportunities and 
Make money together. I've got this. What have you got? Let's get together and right, make some money. Right. Not, ah, oh, you've got money. You've got everything. Give me a job. Help me. Help me. Help me. What the hell is this, bro? Do you know when, when you men... know certain families' intentions when it comes to money? When you when someone dies. You trust me, bro. When no. someone dies. Trust you know me. my dad, yeah? He told me, yeah? He was, like, helping this lady who... Um, she didn't have no family. You've known this woman for years. She, well, she's obviously got family, but just no she don't, No one's in touch with her, yeah? Um, she was elderly. She had paid off her mortgage and whatever, but she had a disability. So um, I don't know how my dad met her, but just he was just helping her. You know what? Cool, I'll help you do some shopping. I'll do the shopping for you, whatever it is. Whatever you need, let me know. So he was doing that for her for a couple of years. So mad, yeah? One day he's come to the yard and to do the shopping for her or whatever and couldn't, she didn't answer the door. When he's looked through the um, letterbox or whatever, he's seen a woman on the floor, dead on the floor. Oh yeah? my God. He's called the obviously ambulance, whatever they've come. Um, they've got in the house or whatever. The lady's died, yeah? So at this point, they're talking to my dad because they want to find out like what's going on, what's your connection with to this lady, boom, 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 whatever. Family start popping up out of the woodworks. Oh no. Everyone wants to know what's happening with the house. Who gets what? Who is my dad part of the will? We need to look at trying to cut that out of the... Do you understand what I'm saying? Wait, you no one ain't been here for decades. And now this woman's dead. And someone pops up within a week. Do you know what? Man.